Hello, my name is Brad Miller. I'm a professor at Luther College and the founder of RuneStone Interactive. In a couple of other videos, we've been covering the uh, instructor's interface to the RuneStone Interactive textbooks. So we've looked at this admin tab, we've looked at our assignment builder tab, and now in this video, we're going to take a look at the grading tab. Okay, so remember that you can get to this, uh, to this page in the first place by, from anywhere in the textbook or anywhere on RuneStone by simply clicking on Instructors page and then navigating through this tab-based interface. So there are two ways that we can do grading uh, in RuneStone. We have auto grading and we have manual grading. So the easiest um, and best, of course, uh, for, for all of us as instructors is uh, to be able to have things auto graded for us. So let's go here. Uh, this is kind of a three pane interface. So we can select our assignment in the first pane. And in this uh, last video, we did the assignment called Demo Video 2. And if you remember, we assigned a, a bunch of sections from the textbook that we wanted our students to, to read and interact with all of the interactive elements on those pages. And so now, we'd like to go ahead and auto grade um, all of those pages. So we click on the auto grade and display totals button here. And it says that it's auto graded 12 items. And from that we have uh, for four students, we have a maximum grade of 11, we have a minimum grade of zero and a mean grade of 2.75. All right. Um, one thing that I didn't mention was one feature here. This is a checkbox here says only check work submitted before the assignment deadline. All right, so this kind of depends on how strict you are. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna make sure that students have got their work done on time and you're not gonna give them any credit at all uh, for turning in late work, then you definitely wanna have this checked. Um, if sometimes like me, you're a little lax about that and tell your students, hey, as long as you get it in by the time I grade it, uh, I, won't, uh, I won't give you any penalty. Um, but I think uh, for the reading assignments especially, it's, it's nice to be able to say pretty strict, right? I've asked you to be prepared for class, do your work, so I'm only gonna give you credit if you've gotten it done by the deadline. Okay, in another video, we'll actually take a look at the student progress tab and uh, that will allow you to explore uh, for your entire class or for individual students, um, how, they've, how they've performed on these individual uh, parts of an assignment. Okay, but for now, let's take a look at the other two um, tabs here. So let's grade each question. All right, and so let's select a question and then let's select a student. Okay, so We'll start with me. I'm both the instructor and a student. All right, so you can see here that um, we now have uh, we now have uh, my assignment. Uh, I've got a grade here of one uh, in a previously failed video. Um, I had only given myself one point for this assignment because I had not done my uh, I had not converted my inputs to one. But being a better boy now, uh, I can update this grade to a five and change my comment to be good job. All right, so if I press the save in the next button here, uh, that'll take us uh, to the next student. Uh, they didn't do anything, so we'll go on to next. All right, and so. There we go. If we want to look at the next problem, we can click on the next problem and click on myself here at the top of the list. I haven't tried to do that yet. Uh, so again, it kind of shows up as a, as a zero. Okay, so, so that's what we have uh, for running these assignments. If we, had, uh, if we had other kinds of questions, if we had multiple choice questions or fill in the blank questions, then um, then those would show up here as well. But I think that the way that most people will use this manual grading part of the assignment um, of the instructor interface will be for manually grading the programming assignments. 
right, let's see now from a student's perspective, uh, let's go ahead and, and release the grades. All right, and so then if I go back to the other course, if I go to the assignment list here, go to the demo video two course here, uh, now you can see that uh, I gave myself five. Oops, forgot that there were 10 possible points. Uh, so I'm not going to be happy. And I'll probably come back and, and whine to my instructor and say, I got it all right. How come I only got five points? Okay, so that's the, that's the grading interface. This is one way that students can, um, can see their results. Uh, another way that students can see their results is by clicking on the progress page. Uh, but we'll cover that in the third video in this series where we look at the student progress tab in detail. So again, thanks for listening. And uh, if you want to check out the other videos, uh, please do so.